So, I was just thinking that, you know, I've done a lot of top 10 videos where, like, you know, I kind of said, oh, top 10 action romance anime, top 10 Ichi romance, and top 10. I do, I put a lot of romance in a lot of my animes because honestly, that's a genre that I really like. And also, it's just a genre where everyone can relate to because, hey, everybody want love. So, we're going to be talking about my top three favorite tear jerking anime or tear rendering, tear whatever. Like, it's animes that made me cry, basically. You know, when you get that feeling in the back of your throat where you're just like, you know, you just want to let out a good cry, but then you're next to other people, you're, you're trying to showcase that you ain't no. B <laughs> I'm talking about shows or animes that made me feel that type of way. So, let's just hop straight into it. So, number three. I had to go and give this to Clan Ad After Story. I don't know if you guys know what this anime is, but it's it's pretty old by, by now, honestly. It has this normal plot where like it's a guy coming back to town and then meeting some new people. He meets a girl and stuff like that. But then honestly, I'm not gonna really give you the whole scenario with the anime because I do want you guys to actually go watch it. And I know, like uh, you might just say, you probably don't know the names of some of the characters and stuff like that. Hey, back off. <laughs> I might not. <laughs> I don't, I forgot, but like, the only feeling that I can truly give to you from like me watching that show or watching that anime is that, you know, it's kind of vibrant in the beginning. Like every other relationship or every other friendship, it wasn't really revolved around the relationship at the time. But then as time progressed between the two protagonists or the two characters, like, you know, you start seeing them getting closer and closer and closer. On top of that, you see a lot of drama between them because honestly, in life, there's drama. Don't tell me that your, your life is filled with no drama because honestly, hey, Give me a tutorial on how to have that type of shit because I would love to not have drama in my life. There, Yeah, there's a lot of ups and downs, but then there's a lot of like really cool moments in the anime. But at the end of the show, which I'm not going to go and blow to you guys because honestly, I really go and do suggest you guys going to check it out. Is that... <sighs> you're, let me just tell you that you're really going to feel the emotion behind that a certain specific moment where first you're like oh i i love i love how they finally you know what, i'm i'm gonna spoil this they get together at the end of the anime but there's a twist that hits you really really hard and then i'm telling you it's not like some oh my god it's something that can be fixed no you can't fix this but definitely hey go check it out <laughs> so at number two i gotta give this to your lie in april this anime, I'm telling you right now, look, I used to not be into like music as much because honestly, yeah, there's the whole like, you know, right now, I feel like music's just full of garbage now. Like, I don't know. You might say, hey, but Lil Uzi fight like no, but I think that's just trash. Hey, it's, it's my opinion, but at the end of the day, I wasn't really that much into music. So when I heard that this anime that's, that's revolved around straight piano music, Trust me, I wasn't really as intrigued as you, you think I was. You're like, oh, you're probably like a classical Bach head or something like that. I'm like, no, it's like I wasn't really into it until this anime has changed my whole perception of music or piano in general. So basically there's a boy or a guy or a dude or whatever, a high school student who has the, a talent to play every single thing correctly on the piano. Piano championships, there's like cue cards and just like in America's Got Talent, there's a lot of like, um, you're, you're being rated on your skill. So his skill was just to go and play the piano perfectly. And he did it every single time, hence the reason why he won a lot of competitions. And people called him like, he had like a catchphrase or a name for him as like, you know, the, a ro like, I don't know, they called him a robot. He met an encounter with this girl, this, this complete, blonde chick who she was just playing a piano harmonica thingy or whatever on top of i don't know when i saw that scene it looked so magical you see the, her just playing this thing he's just completely intoxicated by like her play well not really her playing but just her free spirited will where he felt like he was trapped in the box he just feels that she's just the complete polar opposite of him which he's more outgoing and stuff like that where in this anime, there's there, that's like the last one. There's a lot of ups and downs. And honestly, there's a lot of cute moments where I have to say, hey, 10 out of 10 to whoever wrote this thing. But definitely, if I had to say, 
progressing through the anime, just like how I tell you with the last one, there's gonna be some things in the shell that's gonna make you feel like you wanna just, you know, turn it off, or you just don't, like, you can kind of feel what's coming, but then you're just like, no, they're, they're not gonna do this. Nah, they're not gonna do this. They're, no, they're not. You're not gonna do it. Like, you're gonna be sounding like a record player on some, mm, no, mm, mm, no, 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 no. At the end of this anime, I'm gonna tell you right now, just, a little warning that be ready to have a box of tissues right next to you. Be ready to have a whole stack of tissues just completely used. It's like, cause I'm telling you, in the beginning stages of the show, it gets really good. But towards the end, you already know. Okay, I'm done. And at number one, we have Angel Beats. Angel Beats is by far one of my favorites. The reason why I really loved it was that this was a completely different spin from like your average anime, where instead of the characters just being like brand, you know, like, oh, he comes into a new town, all this other bullshit and stuff like that, you're kind of just introduced to the character of this girl with purple hair just coming say, hey, welcome. You know you're dead, right? You see this comes and this opens up with that and that's what opened up my attention in this anime. Finding out that, like basically, the main protagonist of the show is already dead. And it's like, you know, that's a that's a pretty different spin. Like usually the characters, um, you know, fighting to become like the best in school or he's trying to see who his love interest is or something like that. Or, you know, there's a love triangle. But this anime is straight that, hey, you're dead. You're gonna go join our team. And then um, basically we're gonna fight off this one chick who's basically the overlord or the, the freaking demon of like the academy. And it's like, you know, to me, I was like, okay, this seems like a really comedic anime, which honestly it was. There was a lot of like funny aspects of the show. One thing that really caught my attention in the show was that as you started to progress, rest with it you start seeing things differently in a sense of like the characters like you just see them as funny before you just see them as a really funny group of people who are enjoying their school their their, their high school days and just having fun but then as you progress down the line you start unraveling what happens or what caused their deaths you kind of see what's going on in their lives and then you start seeing them differently in a different light instead of just being stupidly funny you start seeing them as hey you know what i'm gonna support this person so Little spoiler, as the show progresses, well, we find out basically how they were back in their old lives. They make peace with their old selves. And then as that happens, they disappear. Spoiler alert, they disappear. But then they don't just disappear and just die. They disappear and go back into like, I don't know, they get reincarnated into other things. And you know what? We don't necessarily know in the show what they get reincarnated into, but we see that they get reincarnated into other things. So um, definitely Angel Beats, if you haven't heard of the anime, hence haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. It's definitely a 10 out of 10 IGN experience. So if you, just give it a chance. It's like, it's a really good show. And also, just like I said before, you're gonna cry. It's just like, it's it's just given. Like all three of these animes that I've showed to you guys today, you're gonna cry from them. It's just that they're just that good. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully you guys enjoyed my recommendations. Leave a comment down below on animes that you guys have seen and have made you cry. Cause honestly, these anime personally have made me, you know, feel a little something right here but like hey like um just let me know what type of animes you guys have going on and also if you've seen the animes that i've t i've kind of dis it's displayed to you in this video leave a comment down below and leave me your thoughts on what you guys thought of the anime so i just gotta say thank you for watching again and i'll see you guys in the next one